at Melanopat. Hi, I'm Melanopat from Lyon, and in this video, I will talk about the CRTC1 Tremor 11 cutaneous tumors and show you the clues to this diagnosis. This work has been done with the help of Dimitris Goutas, who was visiting from Athens, Greece. Let's start off with the clinical features. These tumors usually appear as a slow-growing nodule that can be located anywhere, but there's more frequency in the extremities. There can be some mucosal localizations, and there's a broad range, range in the age. There can, it can arise in children or in elderly patients. The median is around 40-ish. There's no gender predominance. Let's move to the low power cues. As you can see in these four examples, it's usually an intradermal nodule that is well circumscribed, but there is no fibrous capsule around it. It usually is unpigmented. Some cases can be closer to the epidermis and have like a pseudojunction and the hyperplasia at the epidermis. The presence of intratumoral necrosis is usually rare. Here are two examples with such a feature. The tumor is made of intersecting cellular bundles in a fibrous background. These bundles are quite short and have a rather homogeneous appearance. When you look at high power, the tumor is made of a mixture of spindled and epithelioid cells. Here's a very typical example. And if you look closely, you might find some fibrilla aspect in the cytoplasm. Usually the mitotic activity is low. Immunohistochemistry studies will show that these tumors usually express SOX10 and S100. There can be a heterogeneous e expression of HMB45 and menin A, looking usually like these two figures. And if you have the TRIM11 antibody, it's going to be a nuclear stain, usually uh, present on the invasive border of the tumor. There can be some very strong pan track uh, overexpression, uh, like in this example, uh, that can be misleading for a Spitz tumor. You can confirm this either by sequencing or you can also perform a TRIM11 fish breakapart uh, technique. Regarding the prognosis of such tumors, there have been several metastatic cases that have been reported and globally it seems to have uh, some malignant potential but seems uh, less uh, aggressive uh, then clear cell sarcomas or metastatic melanomas. So here's an example you see invasion with the invasion of the lymph node. The differential diagnosis will mainly be with metastatic melanomas. Uh, these will be highly mitotic and can be more or less pigmented, but can appear as these rounded, dense intradermal nodules. The other main differential diagnosis is clear cell sarcoma. Usually has the specific fusion. Here's an example of small size. One feature of clear cell sarcoma is uh, in the periphery, the presence of multinucleated wreath-like uh, cells, like in this example. Another differential is the rare uh, occurrences of primary dermal melanoma. So in short, the CRTC1 TRIM11 cutaneous tumor is a novel entity with ha that has some partial morphological overlap with clear cell sarcoma. It's part of a spectrum that uh, includes MIT TFE activated tumors, and these range from picomas to clear cell sarcoma and could include other MIT fused tumor. If you want to learn more about this tumor, uh, please be sure to check out the rotation of multiple cases that it is in, the, in a separate video. Please like and subscribe to the channel.